Hey everyone, so welcome to Angelic Connections. I'm your host for today, Carrie Bush, coming from the UK. So um, just before we've gone on live on the air, I have pulled three cards for your messages at the end of the show. The cards I am using this week are the Oracle of the Unicorn card deck. So I'm going to ask you now to choose a number, one, two, or three. Just go with the number that comes straight into your head, the number you're drawn to, and that is going to be the right message that your soul needs to hear, and that's coming at the end of the show. So I hope everybody's doing okay. I hope everybody's keeping safe and looking after yourself and nurturing yourself. And I want to say happy full moon, everybody. So it's full moon tonight and into tomorrow. And this is the powerful full moon in Libra. This is the moon that brings us back into balance and brings harmony back into our life. So this is the moon that's going to bring much relief to us all. Um, It's a super moon, everybody. So it means it's super amplified. It is actually the brightest, biggest moon that we will have in 2020. So it's a bit special. Um, A super moon always amplifies everything around you. It means that the power of the moon is so much stronger around you. So it's going to be the most fantastic moon for manifesting and releasing. This is going to be the moon that's going to help you really let go of those old patterns and release anything that does not serve your energy going forward. This is the moon of transformation, the reset moon, and, you know, very special indeed. So what I wanted to do today uh, for everybody is I want to do a full moon card reading. So I pulled some cards already before we just went on air and I've got our cards here. I am using for our full moon reading uh, the queen of the moon oracle cards, everybody. So I just feel guided to give everybody um the moon messages and guidance because it's such a powerful moon. And I love it when my show falls on any full moon or new moon because it's so special. I'm such a moon girl. I absolutely love the moon and the energy and the power of working with the moon cycle. So um, our first card that came out of the pack is the focus card, everyone. So this is really apt at the moment because where you're putting your focus on is what we're going to be creating in our life. You are the co-creator of your life and you need to be co-creating with the universe. So you need to make sure that your focus is on exactly what you want to bring in to your life. This is a super moon, like I said, so it amplifies your manifestations. So depending where your focus is, is what you're going to be bringing in around your life. So if your focus is on the good and the positive, you're going to be bringing more good things and positive experiences into your life. If your focus is on the negative and fear energy, then you could easily manifest more of that. So this card is our reminder under this powerful moon energy to really keep our focus on what we wish to bring in. Everything that you're thinking about, talking about, Um, at the moment is manifesting in your life. So it's just a reminder from the angels to make sure that your focus is on the new. Your focus is on what you want to bring into your life. Our second card that came out of the pack, everybody, is the trust card. And this is just so perfect at the moment because we need to be in trusting. We need to be trusting our path. We need to be trusting the angels and trusting the energy at the moment. The more that we can be in a space of trust and keep in the faith, the more positive experiences you are going to be bringing in. So right now is about going with that flow energy and completely trusting that angels are working everything out for you. Everything is going to be okay. This is a strong message that I keep receiving from the angels. Everything is going to be okay. People don't need to be, um, you know, worrying or fretting. Just give the trust to the angels. Your manifestations are going to be coming in. You don't need to worry about not receiving because you are going to receive. So the more that you can trust and flow with the energy, the faster you're going to see beautiful change. And this really is going to be a transformation time. We really are going to see some beautiful change around us. And this is coming in after this moon energy. So this is this is soon. Um, our next card that we get that came out of the pack for everybody is the gratitude card, everybody. So 
this is like gratitude, counting your blessings and brings more blessings to you. Gratitude is such a powerful emotion um, to have. The more that we can be in a space of gratitude and counting your blessings for what's already in your life, the more you are going to bring more blessings in your life. It is as simple as that. I honestly believe that gratitude is one of the most powerful, powerful things we can do when we're manifesting. Um, not forgetting what we already have in our life, coming from the present moment, seeing all those beautiful gifts and blessings that are already around you. Sometimes we can get so fixated on what we're manifesting that we do forget to look at what we already are blessed with. So the more that you can come from a space of gratitude, count your blessings, honestly, the more blessings that you're going to bring in to your life really fast. It's going to put you on the right frequency for manifesting. Um, counting your blessings, open to receive, is going to put you on that right frequency and the right alignment for receiving all your manifestations. It is a really good time to be doing a gratitude journal while we're in lockdown um, and we've got lots of time on our hands unless obviously you're a key worker. Um, if you are a key worker, I want to say a big thank you to, for everything you're doing for us. We just appreciate you so much and we're sending so many prayers your way. But a gratitude journal really is going to be so good. If you've got that time on your hands at the moment and you're in lockdown, self-isolating like I am and many in the world are, then a gratitude journal is really going to open the blessings for you. It's going to open the doorway to receive them. Our next card that came out of the pack is the blossoming card. Now, I love this. The blossoming card is about you evolving you blossoming but also your your seeds that you planted are about to bloom and blossom so this is the reassuring card that your manifestations are coming they literally are just about a moment away they really really are um so you're about to blossom you're about to receive on a very high level everybody so um keep trusting it goes back to that trust card Everything is going to come your way. Everything is coming into fruition. Those seeds that you have planted are about to blossom and you are about to receive on a big, big level. I love the blossoming card. Our next card is the growth card, everybody. You are in a huge, rapid time of growth. This is probably one of the most powerful times of your life. Um, we are in a huge space of transformation, growth, and, you know, you are growing in a big way and you are going to be literally changing at a cellular level now. It's very powerful what's happening. So remember, at times when you feel a bit overwhelmed or uncomfortable, you are growing, you are transforming. Sometimes it can feel a little bit uncomfortable, but know that you're going to grow from any situations that you are facing now. Um, our next card that came out of the pack is the attraction card. You are attracting everything. Honestly, you may have times when you are losing hope a little bit and that you're feeling that, are oh, my things manifesting? Is it happening for me? And this is the angels want to remind you that you are attracting everything and so much more. You may not quite be able to see it yet, but it is all happening. It is all coming together behind the scenes. So um, you are attracting all your desires and more. You're going to be so surprised. You're going to be so pleased that you um, trusted and held on in there because the surprises that are in store for you are amazing. We literally have miracle energy in the air with this super moon. We really, really do. So our next card is the realization card, everybody. Um, this is realizing that you've got the power. You own the power. You are in charge. You have the key to the door. Look at the card. Look at the key. That is you walking through. You're walking through that doorway. You have the key and you've always had the power. The more that you can step into this power, the, the pa more powerful experiences are going to just fly your way. This is a realization of your own power, your own authentic self, and knowing that you can make anything happen because you really, really can. So our last card, everybody, to wrap up our full moon reading is the beginnings card. How perfect is this? This is your new beginnings. This is the doorway for you. This is you walking through to your new beginnings, your new cycle, and everything just on that other side of that doorway is magnificent. It really, really is. 
you're going to be showered with blessings as you step through that doorway you are literally going to be showered with blessings so you've got some really really good times to come so this super moon is going to bring much needed change for everybody it is your new beginnings it, it you know it is time to walk through that door if you're feeling uncomfortable that don't forget with a, a full moon we can often feel a little bit uncomfortable it's a releasing time and we will sometimes have things show up that need to be released remember when it's a super moon it's going to be super amplified so if this is you and this and you're thinking yes that resonates to me just flow with the energy just acknowledge it and release it try not to absorb the emotions too much know that when things come up for a release it's because they're making way for the new we can't hold on to them going forward so the more that we just allow ourselves to flow with the process of releasing any of our inner stuff the faster we flow to our new beginning so i hope you enjoyed your little full moon reading everybody so we're going to go to a caller now i believe we have michelle on the line from california are you there, Michelle? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> how are you? Hello, how are you? I'm well, <laughs> thank you. Oh, good, good. How can I help you today, Michelle? Um, well, I guess I just always wondered if um, somebody's ever, you know, coming through for me. You know, I've just been going through a lot lately, and um, I just had kind of an experience. Um, when I had surgery recently, um, you know, I just thought with this reading, maybe, you know, you could tell me if somebody was coming through, if there's a message or anything. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, what I do, I have got my Talking to Heaven cards. Um, when you want to connect to the spirit world on a deeper level, you you need to get a connect with a medium, really. Um, but I will pull okay. your card and we'll see what the angels give you, Michelle. Okay. So let's get Thank you a card out from heaven. Okay. Okay, let's go. So your first one is that I'm sending you signs, loving signs through nature. There definitely is somebody connecting with you, Michelle. I feel a male energy around. Would that resonate to you that there's a male in spirit? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so sense. this male is around you so strongly. I'm being told, this male is telling me that you are going through a huge spiritual awakening. Um, you are experiencing so many things that are kind of blowing your mind at the moment. Would that make sense to you, Michelle? Yeah, no, yeah, 100%, yeah. yeah. You, you are in a very powerful time of transformation. Now, you've got not only a, a, this male energy around you, this male is your guide, but you also have lots of angel energy around you. So you've been seeing so many signs. This is signs yeah. of butterflies, feathers, um, number patterns especially. Are you seeing lots of number sequences? Yes. Yeah, I do all the time. Like in the weirdest places, I'll see a number, you know, on a wall or, you know, on the floor or something. Yeah. So, yeah, I see that. <laughs> Oh, you're being connected with so strongly. It's making me feel so happy. It's beautiful, loving energy. I've got the card. I have become one of your guides. Look at this beautiful card, Michelle. This is the male in spirit. Literally hold your hand. Look at the light energy. This is where you're at at the moment. It's such a beautiful light energy and literally reaching out to you. I also get tears cleanse the soul. So there have been a lot of tears, Michelle. Um, yeah. This male in spirit has been around you when you've been crying, drying your tears, really um, comforting you. Is it a parent? It, would it be your dad or a, a granddad? It feels so nurturing and loving, Michelle. Um, it was, I think it's my brother. Yeah, my brother. Um, okay. my brother. Yeah. yeah. It feels so nurturing. It's a very, very close relationship. There's been so many tears shed. It's almost like your brother saying that He's helping you to spiritually awaken. He wants you to know that he's there. He's there all the time. I'm being shown a motorbike and I'm being shown some red roses. I don't know if they resonate to you, but that's what he's showing me. Um, but he's by your side all the time, Michelle. He's drying your tears. He, he doesn't want you to cry anymore. Or It's like you've needed to go through the grieving process. It's important. Um, I feel like 
Michelle, that you're coming out of that now? Do you feel like you're you're um, sometimes, yeah, sometimes I feel like it's getting better, yeah, but you know, it's still there. I wanted, to say, I wanted to say recovery, but I've lost both my parents, and I don't know necessarily if that's the right words because I don't know if we ever do fully recover. But I'm definitely seeing more laughter and less tears. You're feeling him more now, and this is making you very happy, but it's also making him very happy, Michelle, because he's so um, happy that you're able to feel him. There's definitely you are a nature girl, he's saying. Did you two used to play outside a lot uh, when you were growing yeah. up? Very nature. Yeah. Very nature. Um, he's saying that you you were the girl with mud all over you, um, you know, getting, <laughs> yeah. getting dirty um, and, and getting stuck in there, almost like uh, being a bit of a tomboy playing with him. You know, he could rough and tumble with you um, and he's yeah. connecting me to this lovely memory and he just wants you to know he has not gone. He is right by your side. He is now your guide. He is your shining light. And he is going to guide you forward, Michelle. He's always, always going to be by your side. He is your angel. And he's leading you forward on this wonderful transformation journey you're on. If you think things are feeling powerful now on your spiritual journey, you're going to be mind blown because he's saying he's going to show you so much. Have you been guided to go and have a reading, Michelle? He's saying that you're going to have a reading, but you're going to have a face-to-face -face reading with somebody. There's somebody that you're going to see, um, yeah. pass on information. He's saying to me that you get goosebumps a lot. That is when he's around. Um, you're starting okay. to get cold and get shivers. He's also showing me a dog. Is there a dog? That, that, did he have a dog or have you got a dog? Yeah, my my little dog, uh, baby girl, like they were best friends. They were like buddies, and he was like loved and her so, so much. He's and, showing me, he's showing me the dog, and he's laughing. So the, this dog senses him. Does the dog suddenly start looking up and barking as if someone's there and there's no one there? Oh yeah, yeah, they do that. They there there's two of them, but one of them didn't know my brother. But the one that did, they'll always go outside and they it's they bark at the wall for the weirdest <laughs> reasons. And I'm always like, what are you barking at? And it's like they're looking up and seeing something, and it just always makes me wonder, like, what is going on? <laughs> oh, it's him. It's him, and he's laughing. It's almost like he said he's teasing the dog. Was he a bit of a joker? Would your brother have yeah. been a bit of a joker, like messed around a lot? Because it's almost like he's oh, giggling yeah. and he's saying, he, he's, he's, saying yeah. he's, he's like teasing the dog, he's winding the dog up and he's finding it funny. Um, yeah. He's got a great, he's got a great loving character. He would have been absolutely so funny. Um, and he's still around you. He wants to bring these memories to you um, to connect with you so that you know that it's him. So that you know that he's always around you. He's saying that he's with the grandmother, um, yeah. and he's not alone. Um, he's looking after you. He's your guide, and he's always going to be there for you, Michelle. So he doesn't want you to worry. You know, he's around. He's going to lead you to some beautiful places, and he's saying there's no more bad to come. It's all good from here. It's all good. He's yeah. going to help make all your dreams come true, Michelle. So, you know, he's a beautiful yeah. energy. He really, really is. Beautiful yeah. energy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, how Thank lovely you. is that? <laughs> that is awesome. I hope I'm that's so made you feel better. Yes, I did. Thank you. I really appreciate that. <laughs> You're so welcome. And take care. And honestly, when your dog's barking, you can you can talk to your brother now. And you can say, stop winding the dog up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I will. Thank you so much. You take care. You too. Stay safe. Hi, Michelle. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, how beautiful was that? What a lovely, lovely connection. Her brother's energy is just so, so beautiful. It's made me feel lovely. Um, so let's just talk about this super moon a little bit more. So we've done our little super moon reading. And now I just want to talk to you about doing your releasing a ritual tonight, because I don't want anybody to miss out on this absolutely beautiful energy. So get a pen and paper, write down everything on this pen and paper that you are releasing. It can include um, personal stuff around you, but also attachments unhealthy patterns, negativity, 
past karmic ties. All of that sort of thing is really, really good to put down. We could be releasing the virus that's around at the moment. That's a good one if we all include that on our list. Um, you know, releasing that so that that can go away. Just write everything. Pull your heart out. Um, pull the angels in to help you with this. Pull the angel energy in. Then make a second list. Make your second list your manifesting list. So on this first list is everything you're letting go from, everything you're releasing, everything that you do not want in your life anymore. On your second list is going to be everything that you are going to be bringing in, in in the space of what you're releasing. So this is the exciting bit. You're making way. Remember this. Every time we release, we're making way for the new. Some people get overwhelmed and feel very uncomfortable with releasing and when things show up heavily for us. And I can absolutely understand that. It overwhelms me at times. But what the angels want us all to remember is that actually it's very positive what's occurring. We need to change our mindset and the way we're looking at it. We are making space for the new to enter. So make your manifesting list, everything you're bringing in. Go outside under the moon. Don't worry if you can't see it. The energy is absolutely going to be there because it's a super moon. Um, and then burn your list. Give everything that you're releasing. Let it all go. You've given your manifestation over. You've stated it to the universe. You've called the angels in to help you with this powerful process, this powerful ritual. And then you let it go. Literally come back in with a smile on your face and just know that it's so powerful and it's such a super moon that that's going to be easily released from your shoulders and that's going to be easily manifested and you don't even need to worry or think about it anymore. That is going to be so powerful, super powerful. Um, put your crystals out, you know, it's, it's going to, they're going to get a good old cleanse tonight under that energy. So as we're coming towards the end of the show, I want to do the card messages now. At the beginning of the show, I ask everybody to choose the number that they were drawn to, number one, number two, or number three. So I'm going to go through them. The cards I was using, I, I think I already showed them, but we'll do it again, is the unicorn, the Oracle of the Unicorns card. So if you chose a number one as your card, you were drawn to the number one, your message of the week is the flow card. How powerful. We were just literally talking about flow. Find an easier path forward, surrender the outcome, release your expectations. Honestly, to get into the flow will open so many doorways that have been closed. It really, really will. I can't express what a difference it made in my life to surrender, let go, give it to the angels and just go with the flow. So maybe you have been trying to control things. Maybe you've been holding on too tight. Maybe you've been questioning When's it coming? How's it coming? I'm a bit frustrated waiting for whatever it is you're waiting for, your desires. If you want your desires to come fast, get into the flow. Let them go and you will see them. Surrender. Give it all to the angels. When we hold on to it, we block it. Honestly, get into the flow and you will see such a difference. Everything will just zoom into your life. And that's coming from experience. Honestly. I was the world's worst of holding on to things and trying to control. I am a Virgo. So, you know, any fellow Virgos out there will be like, yeah, I understand. We like to control. We like to know the details of everything. But it's the best decision I ever made. It totally transformed my life. Um, puts you on the right frequency to manifest. So for anybody who chose number two for their card, your card is the trust card. And your card says, leap into the unknown, have faith and move forward, believe you will fly. So again, we've had the trust message come up earlier in our full moon cards. These are so powerful, these messages. We need to trust. You need to just be led to your path. Take those leaps of faith. Trust in your angels. If you're guided to do something, then you've been guided to do it for a reason. I always say, if it feels good, go with it. If your heart says yes, just go with it. Sometimes you can have lots of doubts come up into your mind and put yourself off making those uh, leaps of faith or moving forwards. But actually, just go back to your heart space. 
if it feels good in your heart, go for it. The angels wouldn't have given you such a strong feeling to do something if it wasn't right for you. If it feels good, then it's right for you. So trust and just allow the angels to take you forward to your next step. For anybody who chose number three, you get the courage card. And this says, you are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. You are safe. You can go forward self-assured that everything is okay. You do not need to have this fear energy. It is not needed. The angels are saying, just believe in yourself. Let go of the fear energy. Remember that fear is an illusion. Fear energy will just manifest more fear energy. So go forward with courage. Trust in yourself. Trust in your path. Trust in your angels. Let go of doubts, worries and fears. They are not needed whatsoever. Everything is working out for you and you're going to be very, very pleasantly surprised. So I hope everybody enjoyed my show this week. I hope everybody uh, connected and resonated to the moon messages and your special message at the end of the show. I am sending you all a wave of love and light. Um, lots of magical energy coming your way and wishing you the best week ever. Love and light, everybody.